I, I believe Rector to remind that there are problems in the legislation. Parliament has the power to correct. And fortunately, the legislation is under review. Vulan Scabas, what you guys think about this beautiful lady called Malaluma people? Let me know in the comment section. Vulan Scabas, my opinion, Malalu is one of the corrupted female in Jamaica, my people. Minute, wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Vulan Scabas, locally, internationally, have you ever heard a law rewritten in the middle of an investigation, my people? What can go so? Vulan Scabas, tell about the big corruption. This chap law thinking very smart than Jamaican people. Implemented new law, the suit and step on views and subscribers. Bigger picture, MPs start attacking pastors no more people. Can you something? We have too many pastors. Who are willing to take their personal views to the pulpit? Yeah, yeah. Kiss me, Ross, Claude. Now tell you wickedness can't done. Jamaica is not a real place. 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 The world nation. Vulan last time I checked, one pastor make it clear to the public in order to preach and to the chapel come down my people. Oh my blood clan. I have my eyes set on one man in this country. I'm mean, not stop until God answer my prayer and take down that evil powers from this country. Hear me? It's a war. The people must be free to make the right choice. Because they're blind, they're dumb, they're deaf, they're controlled. So we have the power to go out here and set the captive free. What the church doing? Sit down and be afraid. I will not relent. I will not relent. Vulan on, Skawa. See what this corrupted government started in Jamaica, my people? Pastor decided he's going to leave the church and start protesting the street to get this corrupted government on my people. Full on scabbers, when we analyze the whole situation and put everything in perspective, why this government want rewritten the law in the middle of an investigation of people? Full on scabbers, do you think this prime minister guilty my people? Let me know in the comment section. Full on scabbers, well Jamaica want to know how this prime minister gets so rich within 5 to 6 years. Full on scabbers, at one point this current prime minister couldn't even pay in student loan my people. Full on scabbers, Juliet Honest came publicly stated that at one point at her wedding, she decided she's gonna do a fish fry to sell some ticket my people. Full on scabbers, within 5 to 6 years, these couple became billionaires my people. That's why that if Jesus has come back here. Rich, you cannot keep friends with poor people. Poor people always in need, they always have a fear, but they always have about 10,000, I beg 10,000. So if you want to get rich, keep friends with the rich. So I decide now for link up some of my rich friends them now and start moving with them. One of them called me yesterday, he borrow $10 million. But I said, Ross, but the poor people, they borrow 10,000, but they borrow 10 million. I said, brother, any of you ever lay 10 million dollar kill you around me? You're not going to see neither which part me turn now the 10 million ton. Trust me, brother. <laughs> Something we have too many pastors who are willing to take their personal views to the pulpit. But you see, the God that we serve is an untimed God. The God that we serve is a list of people. seeking to get a better understanding of the approach taken by the Commission in discharging its functions and exercising its powers under the Act. I, I believe that Mr. Christie is, is right. The law is passed by par Parliament, and if there are errors to be corrected, the correction is to be done by the Parliament. Member Charles is also right, because he is seeking an understanding of how the executive director interprets provisions of the law. Unless and until a provision is changed, it is a provision that has to be implemented and enforced. And you can only get an understanding of the approach if you understand how the provision is interpreted. And fortunately for us who are lawyers, we know that there are rules of statutory interpretation, starting with a very basic rule. You take the words in their ordinary grammatical context. I mean, the, or the literal meaning of the word, ordinary grammatical meaning in context. A statute has to be read as a whole, 
to take to, to prevent any inconsistency. So I don't think that it is unhelpful for the executive director to remind that there are problems in the legislation. Parliament has the power to correct. And fortunately, the legislation is under review. I don't think it is unreasonable for the member to ask, how do you interpret a provision, even in the presence of inconsistencies, to enable me to understand the approach that is taken? And it is only by asking and answering that we gain clarity in the matter. I do not believe that all of the issues that require answers will be answered in this right. session. Yes, I do not believe that all the matters that require clarification or that need to be addressed to ensure that we have an effective, effective system in place will be addressed in this session. So I too look forward to other sessions. In the meantime, I really just want to ask the Commission to consider a matter that has to do with the burden of compliance. Um, a number of declarants, um, many of which are not in the parliamentarian class, have spoken to me because of my role as the Minister of Legal Affairs in respect of the burden of compliance with the legislation. And it is my understanding that where there are omissions in a statutory declaration, the commission asks the declarant to resubmit the entire statutory declaration. I don't know if that is correct. Is that so? That the entire declaration for the period has to be resubmitted. Just say yes or no. I'm happy to hear that. No, do it on the record. I, I'm, no. I'm so happy to hear that because I would then suggest that an omission can really be corrected by way of an addendum to the declaration for the particular year to reduce the burden of compliance and to ensure that compliance is done in a timely way. So I'm very happy to hear. So those who have omissions in their statutory declaration um, can on communication with the commission, make the corrections by way of addendum as appropriate. As appropriate. But could you repeat, please? Thank you. I understand that each declarant's matter will be subject to the particular assessment that is done between the commission or the respective director or wherever it is being assessed. But as a general rule, I, it is my understanding that omissions can be corrected by way of addendum, additional information, without the need to resubmit the entire statutory declaration for the period under consideration. All right, thank you very much. Um, as it concerns the issue of omissions, it's not as straightforward as you, I as you have that. put it um, to, the, to the committee because it all depends on frequency. You have persons who each year they have omissions. Um, we're not going to ask them to resubmit. We may put it to the commission no, no, that I'm not, those matters be escalated. I'm not talking However, about complex matters. I'm really yes, talking about a straightforward, simplest, simple. straightforward the, omissions yes. that the omissions may run more than one year, of course, but they are straightforward matters. Yes, indeed. Very well. Um, yes, they can. Um, I will have to double check, though, on, on one particular matter, because remember, you're required to sign in front of a JP to right. attest to the signature. I mean, the, the additional no. matter would have to be certified. Correct, right. correct. So it yeah. would have to be certified also yes. using the similar language. So yes, it's okay. something that can be done once we can get the JP signing off, but most persons will opt based on our examination so far to submit the entire thing because I can tell you, based on our examination, there are a lot of omissions right across the declaration. Right. So it makes sense more, most times for them to get it completed and resubmit. But Understood. for simple one-pager, it has happened in the past and it's allowed. Chairman, my last comment. When we communicate each, each member will be allowed one last comment. Oh, what? I have a whole... Action OJ is not just about 
more chat. A lot of people they pan TikTok every day then chat, then chat, then chat, but they're not doing nothing at all to change the trajectory, the political trajectory of this country. They are doing nothing. But Action Now JA is the vice president of an upcoming political movement, the Diplomatic Democratic Party. So we are doing a lot of things behind the scenes, some of which soon come to the media, right? So Action Now JA you know, depends on TikTok and chat chat every day because talking about an issue without taking action will not solve the issue. You understand? However, with that being said, so I do apologize for not putting out as many videos and content on a daily basis as, I, as other TikTokers. But again, we are not doing anything to change the political trajectory of this country. But Action Now JA is doing things to change the political trajectory of this country. right? But with that said, behind me you have this wonderful, this beautiful woman, beautiful woman, Marlene Malahu Fort. You know, she's a cabinet minister, government minister, She's a Queen's Council. She's a JP. And she's also the Member of Parliament for West Central St. James. She's also the uh, Minister of Legal and Constitutional Affairs. Right? And uh, very beautiful woman. Very beautiful woman. I see that she has some Asian ancestry mixed with her African ancestry. You understand? Very beautiful. We give her that. Right? Personally, I am not fond of Marlene since she became the Minister of Constitution, Legal and Constitutional Affairs. I think, since this, I think the Legal and Constitutional Affairs Ministry is the newest ministry to our parliament, right? And she was the minister since the inception. And I am not fond of her because of utterances that she has made throughout her tenure as minister of this, um, this ministry. But recently, she made an utterance that really, really, it, it, this is where things are getting dark for us as a nation and as a, and as a people. When Marlene says that the Integrity Commission Act needs to be rewritten, what is the rationale of saying that? When the Integrity Commission Act was used to, to, to discipline other people who are falling outside of the, the, the law regarding declaration of um, assets and their statutory declaration when it is being used against other people. It is good. Nothing wrong with it. It no need to be rewritten. But now that the government, Andrew Olness and his ministers are suspect or they are the targets of this Integrity Commission Act, now it needs to be rewritten. This is very, very concerning. Because what this is saying to me is that the parliamentarians must never be any subject of any, any matter involving corruption or illicit enrichment. They must do as they like, and the people must look the other way. This is what it is saying, you know. The Integrity Commission Act must be used against any other Jill, Jill woman or Jack man, but it must not be used against Andrew Olness and his administration. And recently, these government ministers have been acting in a manner so careless and reckless. And it is concerning to me as a well-thinking, I minded Jamaican that these cabinet ministers, these government ministers means this country and the people no good. We pay taxes to this country every day. And if you're ill right now, dog, name your supper in the hospital in the country. Our taxpaying dollars are not being used properly to improve our lives there are a lot of people suffering in this country including jlp supporters they are living on to moat they must suffer them poor but their ministers their member of parliaments their mps are doing these things and want them to look the other way want them to look the other way but we now look the other way now we are watch this and the integrity commission act now rewrite so Marlene, take that out of your mind. Take that out of your mind. And I am wondering if a report will be published that makes you the subject. One of these days, I am wondering. Make you come out and tell you want it to be rewritten. The rule of the game can't change in the middle of the game. When the game done, we look upon the rules. But right now, the current rule of God stay. You see me I say? She's a very beautiful woman. 
But some ugly things come from our mouth. Come from our mouth. Come from our mouth. You understand? Andrew and them God. So nothing bad not, not supposed to be said. So all of these government ministers coming out defending Andrew because him and them God. Them bow down at his feet and serve him and worship him. You understand? But I want to say this ultimately. A government that has no integrity, has no discipline, no value, no moral, no ethics, no transparency or accountability cannot lead me, action now, J.A., or this country on a path of true progress and prosperity. Let me tell you that. A country, a government, when I have no discipline, no manners, no decency towards its own citizens, can't lead a country to a better to a, an, an a better on a better path. Never. This country will remain as is because of people like Marlene Malahou for it. And let me tell you something. If I lived in West Central St. James in her constituency, trust me, it would be hell because she would have to answer to the recklessness of her behavior. She's acting like a female warming town. No, 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 no. Me can't give her that. My member of parliament. Is the female Warmington. We can't do that to Marlene. I apologize, Marlene. But your statements are concerning to well thinking Jamaicans. The actions of the government in recent times is concerning to the Jamaican people, and you have to answer to us. I'm arrested, right? So tell me what to think. I said it, Marlene means this country and the people no good, including the, JL the JLP supporters. And I think I lie, me I tell. tell Talk if I lie, me I tell. It's because we are doing our own survey. You know? That's why we can draw to the conclusion by telling you, say, JLP now win the next election. Them not have not, not, not even nothing them thin chance them not have. Them just now go win. Because within the party, you have two set of people in the party. You have the original labor right. Right? And you have another set that is an Andrew fanatic. Right? I want me to say fanatic. It's simple me, no matter where Andrew do, it can't run. Anything Andrew do, it's right for them. You have the other set that is the original labor right. You have some of them, they stand for principle, they stood for morals, and they stood for a lot of things that they think is best for the country. So when Andrew now do, where him fiddle, and I do it in the wrong way, people like them there. Them now come out and make a bag of noise, you know. Them just know say them now go vote. And even though them no vote, it doesn't say that some of them go and switch them vote to the PMP. But what will happen? It will just happen now that the PMP that come out in majority will happen to override the JLP vote. Right? Because of those who don't support what Andrew is going on with. So I so you don't have to sit down and assess politics. So when you know come out and go boast about Andrew achievement. Andrew achieve a lot because he have a lot of patrol out there to deal with. So I can't understand that. But you don't have to face reality and realize that you just not go win again. So you don't want to kill up on yourself. Right? The PMP has suffered that, you know. The PMP know what it is. Because they had suffered the same thing. When Porsche were there and you were, you have people that was a fanatic of Porsche and you have people that was a lover of the PMP and when things don't go them way, them don't vote and, and the PMP end up lose. Then the same thing in return now, a, a happen now to the JLP because the PMP now is much more organized and all of them are moving one way. You don't really have much of a fanatic over on that side anymore. So everybody does a move with Mark Golden as the captain of the boat. Right? Andrew right now is that him the captain in you know, a fitting boat right now. You know? He might rely upon the fanatic them. And the fanatic them are drift the thing in a different different direction. Him dev right. So right you now, I don't know what happened to him, you know. But me can't tell him if him sit down and listen to the fanatic them. It a it go ring a bell in a film ears like him shows him I go win. Right? But no one is not there for your papa. So just see why you can't go on for you while you are there. And have yourself a go. Yeah. Enjoy your, enjoy, enjoy your time that leave. Just enjoy it. Eat, drink, fly out. See if you can't travel a couple more countries. 
under your belt here that you can't say you're one of the prime minister that travels the most country right yeah man take care of yourself thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet please do so i'm a common member of the nation family have a productive day more life more prosperity i'm jay british i'm out peace